one of the reactions we got at the State Department was, are you sure this invitation is for me and not my communications minister colleague? Uh, you know, but, but the point is that we're trying to you know, apprise them that the internet is here, it should be a national priority for them. What is your advice to us then from the NGO community on how we can make the most of tomorrow's meeting? Well, I, I was immensely impressed with um, the conversations I heard today, and you can correct me if I heard them incorrectly, but I saw a tremendous amount of skill and enthusiasm coming together in this room throughout the day that I would love to see um, infused into the conversations with the banks, the ministers, and beyond um, as this goes forward. And what I found fascinating was with all of the tremendous skill here, there seemed to be almost a unanimous feeling that this was much bigger than just technology, just infrastructure. It was really about all the externalities, societal externalities, the global externalities people have been talking about all day, um, that this needs a holistic approach. This needs the key uh, um, financiers of development to focus on in a much different way. And I would really want to bring this conversation somehow into that room and beyond because um, what I do is advocacy. And what I heard today was fabulous advocacy for uh, pilot projects, for uh, targeted um, investments that can explode into much bigger uh, projects and economic and social development opportunities. Um, there's just a tremendous amount of knowledge and skill here that needs to be at the table. So what I would hope that we can somehow find a way to convey going forward and maybe continue this process um, is to uh, do this again and make it more targeted, focused, and strategic. Um, but let me also bring, bring up one element that I think is, is critical to consider and not to take away from what we've done today, but um, there are a lot of people who are not in this room who couldn't be here. Um, but there are a lot of people in civil society who will look at this and see powerful governments, powerful institutions like the banks, powerful corporate players, and be suspicious. And for obvious reasons, um, uh, we have worked with other NGOs, I see Brett right here from Access, on a letter to the ministers to uh, engage and support this process, but also to indicate that there are important issues that have been talked about here, rule of law, uh, appropriate norms and behaviors, uh, the good use of taxation, the inappropriate use of taxation, on and on, um, a set of parameters and norms that are critical so that you're not just building to build, you're building to actually serve the economic and social needs you're talking about. And so I think we need to be sensitive that we need to not just galvanize what we've had here today, but we need